Hello guys, welcome back. In this part, now since we have all the development tools and Angular material installed, we'll start working on our pages. In this section, I'm going to introduce basic animation techniques which we can use in page transition. Uh, again, this part is entirely optional uh, because it's not an uh, animation tutorial and it may not be required at all. It's just some cool tricks I want to show you so that it can give you a very nice look and feel to your application. And because it's a one-time setup, it can be used anywhere in your project with very little effort. So it's worth including in this inner project. But before I start, I want to quickly show you uh, a, a glimpse of it, what you're going to achieve. So for example, if you click on this sign in button, yeah, as you can see, the, the screen, this whole screen, the next page transitions with an effect. That's the little animation technique I'm going to include in my app. Again, this is entirely optional, so if you don't want to do this, feel free to skip this and uh, move to the next uh, next part. So let's get started. So as you can see, I am serving my application. It's a pure vanilla application from the last uh, tutorial. I haven't even changed anything out here. So first thing first, let's go to the app.routing.module. Okay. And I'm going to make some space on my screen. So as you can see, we created a header, we created a folder, and we created an about us page. So let's include some, um, uh, I'm just going to copy this and include a header. Um, sorry, this is not the right path. Okay, it's under the shared header and header.component. So let me include the header component here. Next thing, I want to include a folder component. So I'm going to copy this and change this folder component again. For some reason, my machine is like importing it from some other module. So, perfect. So now as you can see, let me just, uh, okay, now as you can see, I've imported header footer and I've um, defined the paths for that. It's not required header and footer, but just for the demo purpose, I'm including this. So let me save this file. Now let's go to the about us your component .html. As you can see, it was a pure vanilla uh, page, you know, the first time when I started that, so that's what the Angular CLI created for me. So let me put a mat header because again, I already have the Angular material installed so I can make use of Angular any Angular material component into this one. So let me introduce a mat card. Um, hang on. Okay, then, sorry, let me start with header.component.html. So this is the page. I let me write a mat card here. I'm just going to include a title, say about us page. Let me change this one uh, to header. Okay, let me get rid of this one. And I'm going to include, include a button, which is, is going to take me to the header. Um, and then let me take this one and in, put this inside the mat card content. Okay, perfect. Okay, header works. And I'm going to include one more button, which is going to take me to the footer. That's all I need, I believe. Okay, so I'm going to save this file. Now let me copy this file here. Okay, let me, and this is the header file, so header works. Let me copy this over to the about us page. Let me change this. So this is my about us page and it's going to take me to the header, header, and this is about us. Perfect. Now let me go to one more thing. Uh, I believe footer, footer.html. Okay. And let me change this one as well. I'm just going to copy pasting and, and I'm going to change this, save this file here. So my app routing module has three different modules, which is about us, header and footer. And as you can see, my header.component.html, I just put the basic text over there. Now, if I go back to my app, as you can see, it hasn't changed anything here. So why not? So let's go back to the app.component.html. Okay, and let me get rid of all this vanilla code. And let's put a router, out, router outlet. Okay, so what this router outlet is going to do is going to take grab that page and display it at this location. That's all I need here. So if I change this, I bet it's going to change and it's going to show up the, uh, the about us page. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, I can go to the header, go to the footer from this thing. As you can see, these are very simple, like basic navigation here. It's not, there's no animation in there. So let's create an animation. 
again is entirely optional so I'm going to create a file it's called router.animation.ts and you can create this file anywhere I'm going to manually create this file because I'm not going to import into my um, app.module and I will show you why so let's go to that router.animation.ts first thing is I need to import um, angular animations and I'm going to import trigger state animate I think I need two more style and transition perfect now I'm going to export a function and I'm going to call this function move in now move in uh, I let me return a trigger and trigger uh, it it actually respects two different parameters first the name so I'm going to call it a move in and then I'm going to pass it an array so first array is a state and state takes again it's a wide state and I'm going to put some style here fixed width and uh, let me put 100% of width here I'm going to pass one more state let me copy paste this and then let me point a transition here so don't worry about this if you don't understand this like no once me once let me finish and then you know it will make more sense to you so when I put enter I'm going to put a style, a style. again I'm going to copy this from the um, from the earlier okay here I'm going to put an opacity transform and I'm going to translate to the x axis by 100 pixel and I'm going to put some animation let me put 0.6 seconds is in out okay let me put some position there let me format this code a little bit that's it perfect let me put another transition here so this transition the difference is is that this one is enter and other one I want to put it leave so and then you know when it leave I'm going to change the opacity to 1 and then translate it over the x-axis by 0 pixel and then you know when it's, it goes out it's going to be a minus 100 pixel so that's pretty much it basically what this function is doing whenever something moves in that means like you know uh, let's go back to this style here okay this was the demo I was showing you when something when the other page moves in on top of the some other page that's the transition effect so as you can see it's sliding in so you can control all of these things the transition effect when it enters and when it leaves so you can control that we have it using this function now let me do one, 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 one more thing here I'm going to change this translate to minus 200 change the opacity to 0 because when you're leaving you you want like you know your page to be entirely transparent perfect and then let me just copy this the whole function here and instead of moving I'm going to put fall in and fall in as the name says like you know it's going to, your screen is going to fall in on top of the first screen and then let me change this one I'm going to get rid of all the states here and then let me put some instead of x axis let me translate it to the y by 40 pixel I'm going to change this section here too okay perfect now I, I think I make a mistake here as you can see ease in put instead of ease in put let me put um, let me change this to ease in out perfect so basically that's all it takes that's pretty much it so it, don't worry if you don't understand this because this is the one time setup and this is the one file you create only once now you can use this file in any of your application anywhere okay so let me show you how so let's go back to the about us dot component that is tml okay uh, okay so as you can see go to your about us dot component first thing you will need I need to import it uh, the moving from my the moving export function I wrote um, from router dot animation um, then I think I, I will I will also import fall in let me get rid of the first one next thing you need to do uh, after your style URL set the component definition you have to include an animations and include this move in and fall in um, it takes an array so you can include both of those export function in your animations next thing you need is the host host is like you know when your component is initialized so that's the animation effect is going to take so I'm just going to initiate the move in and it takes a blank uh, there's one more thing last thing I want to do here define a variable called a state which is of type a string and initialize this with the blank that's it so now remember if you have if you want to include animations to any of the component all you need to do import your router dot animation import all the anim animation effects you want to include from your router animation package and then just initiate like you know at the host function what are the animations you want to use and uh, what do you want at the starting effect that's it so 
Now let me show you what this state function is. In your about us dot component dot html, you can also um, create animation effect on individual components. So, for example, if you want the animation effect just on this mat card, all you need to do go to this mat card and include a property fall in which is of type state. And this is the state variable you defined. Um, you defined at the about us dot component dot ts. So again, just to um, recap. Once your router.animation.ts is ready, this is only the one-time function all you need to do. Once you have written it, all you need to do, sorry, I guess make a mistake here. Instead of 100 pixel, I want to make it a zero here. So again, once this router.animation.ts is ready, all you need to do in any of the component, it could be header.html or aboutus.component.html, any component. So in, in this example, in your aboutus.component.ts, all you need to do include those, import those, all the export um, functions you want to use, and then put those animations and put a host component there. That's it. And if you want to put animation on an individual component, like in this case, just on this mat card, you can have two or three different mat cards in your, in your page. And suppose you just want to animate one particular mat call, all you need to do include that property at fall in and call that uh, state here. That's all you need to do, as simple as that. So let me show you this in action. I hope this is working now. So if I go to the header page, there's no animation. Go to the footer page, there's no animation. If I go to the about us page, see that nice effect here? So if I go to the about us page, again, so that's the kind of nice animation you can include with a very little effort in any of the page. I hope this helps. So, but again, they, if you are not interested in including animation, skip that and please uh, move to the next part. Thank you very much.